you are probably wasting half of your life on video games and this is not even an exaggeration it's actually just simple maths there are 24 hours in a day 8 hours you go to sleep 6 to 8 hours you go to work or go to school I'm assuming you go to school so I'm gonna add 6 hours you spend 1 hour working out assuming you're on self improvement 1 hour eating and about 4 hours on video games so if you add sleep school working out eating and let's add one more hour for spending time with family that's seven hours left of your day to do what you want and this is not counting homework and bullshit like that and you spend four hours playing video games now you've just spent more than half of your life playing video games because you can't count sleeping you can't count going to school because let's be real right what did you actually learn in school? Other than, oh, how to do this calculation. Even then, maths is not even bad compared to all of these other fucking subjects. Fucking history, geography. So you're already wasting so much of your life in school. And now you're gonna come back home, waste half of your life playing video games. So if you're the kind of person who struggles with video games, but you're the kind of person who's also in self-improvement, rather than wasting away playing Call of Duty, then watch this video. If you don't know who I am, my name is Arda and I help young men transform their lives through self-improvement. One year ago when I was 14, I started self-improvement and I've seen a massive, massive tangible difference in my confidence to myself and to other people. I learned how to fight. I have got a pretty decent physique for a 15 year old and I've become more disciplined. So if you want to connect with young men who are maybe very similar to you, on self-improvement and are struggling with the same things as you, I have a free Discord server where you could discuss all things relating to that. So go join it right now. First, before we try to quit playing video games, I'm going to tell you why we do play video games. Have you ever wondered why some games are way more enjoyable than others? And some games, they're not even enjoyable, but they're so addicting and you keep on going back to it. You know that game you're thinking of right now, you used to grind on it 10, 12 hours a day, but you'll not even get enjoyment out of it. There are two reasons why you're addicted to video games. And the second reason is quite dark and I'll get into it later into the video. Our brains are actually very simple. When it sees so much video transitions, weird zoom-ins, audios, our brain gets stimulated a lot. And there's a part of our brain that is responsible for motivation and happiness. And that neurotransmitter is called dopamine. You've probably heard of dopamine so much in the self-improvement space, but it's actually the most misunderstood concept ever. Dopamine is often referred as the pleasure hormone, but it goes way beyond than that. Dopamine is not only pleasure, but it's actually your motivation. You can have motivation to go hit a workout, that's dopamine. But you could have motivation to go eat that chocolate bar right next to your desk. And when you grind on video games, that part of our brain, our dopamine receptors, get stimulated a shit ton. And it's not a natural way to stimulate dopamine. Think about it, humans' brains were not designed to handle video games. Just a thousand years ago, there was no such thing as video games. So our brains have not evolved to handle video games without so many consequences. So, you get the dopamine feeling after hitting a hard set of a workout or during it. But you also get dopamine from playing video games. So I don't want you to think dopamine is a bad thing. We actually want more dopamine. We just don't want it to get used for these fucking shitty video games that you could be using in the real world. And you guessed it, our dopamine is not some overpowered thing that never runs out no matter what. When your dopamine gets stimulated all day by playing this video game, after you get off, you're not going to have dopamine to go to the gym. You're not going to have dopamine to read a book because your brain got stimulated too much. And this is not just for video games. For example, if you take extreme hardcore drugs like heroin, meth, your dopamine can get stimulated up to 10 times above baseline. 10 fucking times. And the thing is with dopamine, the higher the peak, the more it falls below baseline. So people that take methamphetamine, heroin, after doing it for a long enough time period, they can't feel happiness anymore. They can't feel motivation anymore. 
That's why after people do heroin and these hardcore drugs, they fall into severe depression. So dopamine is not this funny thing that only video games stimulate. It's really fucking important for your well-being. Let's say you play a lot of video games and your dopamine gets stimulated so much. How do you think you're going to have that motivation to go achieve your goals? How do you think you're going to have the motivation to go to the gym and hit hard sets of squats, deadlifts, bench presses when it hurts? But your couch is very comfortable. All you have to do is move your joystick a little bit. Oh no, my thumb is tired. There's no friction to playing video games. With the gym, you have to get ready, you have to go, people are looking at you, you have to hit a hard set. Or You see, it's a lot harder now. You need that extra dopamine to go conquer your goals. Okay, now the second reason why we play video games. And I warned you at the beginning of this video, it's going to be dark. And these companies have did this on purpose and researched on the human brain for years with the best scientists just to keep you on the game as long as possible. And that is, it gives you a false sense of achievement. I want you to imagine this. Men have always liked conquest. Let me give you an example. Genghis Khan, right? Genghis Khan, when he was running in random directions and killing everyone he sees, he didn't do it because he had some kind of hatred for those people. He did it because he likes conquest. He likes to strive for a goal and try to achieve power. And every single man has that inside of them. We do status seeking behavior. That's why we probably go to the gym. We want other people to look at us and think, yeah, he's big. We want attractive women to look at us as well. Nearly everything we do is for status. And this can be used as a positive thing. If you go to the gym a lot and if you try and make money, achieve your goals. But in video games, instead of giving you that, they gave you a bronze, gold, silver achievement on Call of Duty. So that's your new status. That's the thing that you're striving for now. A lot of people say this when they get on self-improvement and get off video games. They say self-improvement is, is a lot like playing video games. You just, there's different stats for everything and you just kind of have to increase it. And it's so fucking true. That's why these companies design video games like that. So you can sit on your comfortable couch and have status in the game where you don't have to do anything rather than going out into the real world and trying to achieve status. That's how they keep you lazy and weak. And... I've ranted on this whole video and explained why video games are terrible. Instead of just leaving, not knowing what to do, I'm going to give you one action step that you could do to help you try to quit video games. Because I know it's easier said than done to say, quit video games cold turkey today. If you were able to do that, then you would have done it by now. So, I'm going to tell you one action step. Cut down you playing your video games by 5%, maybe 10% only. A very, very small amount. And I want you to get a calendar, maybe it could be a Google calendar, it could be literally just pulling on your notes, it could be a shitty 60 pound subscription that you paid for, doesn't fucking matter. I want you to schedule everything that you do. So, for those eight hours, so from 12 to 8 a.m., you're sleeping, and from 8.30 to 3.34, you're at school. And after school, in this one hour block, you're going to eat. And then the next two hours, you're going to work out. And then you're going to come back. And then you're going to put your video games. I want you to put your video games at the end of every single important thing you do. So don't make this mistake of putting your video games at the beginning. Let's say you come back from school and you put video games. If you play for two hours or whatever how long your video game time is. And then after that, you're not going to feel motivated to do any of your big tasks for the day and you put most likely won't even do them so make sure you put video games at the end of everything obviously quitting it forever is the best possible scenario but it's easier said than done i want to remind you that i have a free discord server for young men on self-improvement and i've targeted people exactly like you who have a top one percent attention span got to the end of this video and they want to get educated and improve their lives so if you haven't already Go join the Discord server. It's completely for free. There is literally no detriment to you joining. And I'm and I'm saying this for you. Because if it was for me, I'd be charging money for this shit. So many people charge for Discord servers and other products that are not even worth it. Uh, this is completely for free. I'm just doing this so young men, like-minded, on self-improvement, connect with each other. Because I've realised that, especially where I've lived around the UK, you're not going to find the random guy down the street on self-improvement. 
So I want us to have a community as a whole, potentially do meetups, calls, everything. So that's been Team Tim Asada. Bye.